It's a lovely sunny day here again in England, and uh, it's time for another episode of the Robot Lawnmower. Uh, so here she is in all of her wondrous glory. Uh, Arduino control, uh, ultrasonic sensors, lithium ion cells. Did have a big spinny bladey thing in the middle of it, but uh, not anymore. Um, we're going to take apart this drill and use the motor and gearbox assembly and stuff that down inside here and uh, we're going to put a plate on the bottom of it and we're going to have some razor blades on it <laughs> yeah it's going, to, it's going to get even more dangerous and um, and hopefully uh, that will give it the ability to cut the lawn properly without getting too hot and uh, efficiently so um, we'll see what we see 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 what happens so we've got to open up the shed and that kind of stuff uh, watch this space <laughs> Well, I was uh, just about to get the old um, uh, lithium-ion power Black & Decker strimmer out and just quickly tidy up some bits around the shed and um, suddenly remembered that I've made one. So, um, so we're going to go ahead and tidy up with this instead. Pile of old rubbish, this thing. This is way better. Smashing! She works a treat! Two lithium ion cells taped, a bit of cable, and the old robot lawnmower motor with a bottle top and some string. Yeah! Um, anyway, back to the lawnmower project. Time to take this drill apart, I guess. Um, shouldn't be too arduous, I hope. Okay, so um, we've uh, got all the screws out. Uh, should be able to split the case open now, hopefully. Uh, so Ooh. Right, don't want to do an Ave, you know, a bit of a skookum or uh, keep your stick on the ice. But um, yeah, let's just have a quick look around, see what we got in there. All right, fantastic. So we got some of that uh, heat molded, um, plastic with the uh, with the rubber grip molded to it that generally tends to get all mucky if you start using solvents or uh, even oils tend to penetrate through that and cause you issues right so let's have a look in here so we've got a motor and what's that 
a Chinese motor made in China. Um, uh, gearbox, fantastic. Um, oh yeah, and this here will be the uh, that will be our little um, our uh, MOSFET um, a power controller, and she's a 12 volt DC by Omron. Uh, Omron, pretty good. Um, and then this is the uh, uh, voltage input uh, to it at the bottom, so that's relatively easy. Okay. Um, oh, it does all come. Oh, look at that! It all just pops out. Fantastic. So, um, ah, right. So this is the gearbox option. We need to make sure that we are in high-speed mode. Hmm. I don't know which mode we're in. Hmm. Okay. We'll have to figure that out in a minute. Um, so, ooh, see if we can take this chuck off. And, yeah. All right. Well, give us a couple of minutes, and uh, hopefully. That lot will go in there. Um, chuck on, chuck off. Not sure yet. We'll figure it out. Righto. So um, screwdrivers haven't really done me any favours. Um, let's just grab the camera. Yeah. So uh, I wasn't. Uh, I haven't yet been able to get into the um, into the chuck of the drill and remove the chuck from the gearbox. Um, I'll have a look, do a bit of research, and see if I can find a way to use that. But thinking about it and looking at this motor, um, she's quite beefy in comparison to some of the other motors. And uh, so just for grins, oh uh, yeah, okay, won't work, <laughs> duh, won't work like that. Let's just make sure that she's uh, the right way around. Be negative, be positive, so be positive, yay. Oh, there we go, okay. Or just, uh, well, you can't even see what I'm doing anyway. I'll start this video again, I think. Yeah. Eh. Okay, I've been having some real uh, trouble trying to um, trying to get the gearbox assembly uh, and the chuck uh, apart. So uh, I'll um, I'll look at that uh, a little later and. Um, I have uh, got the motor disconnected, so the plan at this point uh, is ultimately um, to, well, let's remove the uh, power controller first of all. Okay, and one power controller being removed. So, here is yonder motor from a Hitachi 12 volt drill. Uh, on the uh, Lawn mower, we've got a, um, an 8 volt battery pack, so um, I'm not sure how well that's going to work out. We might have to up our battery pack power, um, but this motor certainly looks like it's got a lot more beans than any of the other motors that I had. Um, so let's uh, just give her a quick test. So first question is, does it fit inside the mower? And uh, yeah, the answer is it's pretty snug actually, that's um, quite a good fit. Um, so yeah, we might need to do a little sanding to uh, to, to, to make that fit, uh, but yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Um, right, so ultimately, then I guess it would be nice to have these cables connected up. I've brought a couple of little uh, um, uh, test leads with me. Do, do, do. So my fingers are pretty greasy after taking that drill apart, and things are difficult to um, to connect up. Right, so. There Go all positive, one negative. Let's just make sure she spins. Uh, do, do, do. Right, where's the camera? There it is. Okay, missile switch on the back of the uh, on the back of the lawnmower. And three, two, one. Yeah. Certainly. Um, Got a slow start to her, but uh, well, I've got a feeling that um, that'll be tough to quite talky. Let's have a go. It's just going to hurt me. <laughs> um, what can I connect to it? Uh, I don't know. I'll find something to put on there. Uh, bear with me. Okay, so um, just spin this around so you can see a little bit of what's going on. 
Uh, right, I don't know if that's focused in, but uh, hopefully if I hold my hand up against it, it'll focus in there. A uh, missile switch is down here by my other hand. So I'm just gonna fire it up. Yeah, get my eyes out of the way. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Um, and I've, I've got a feeling that that'll, uh, that'll work quite well. It's just, uh, yeah, I don't know though. <laughs> Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> -hoo -hoo. Okay, so um, the other thing that uh, we don't have um, are treads. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, cut a few little treads into these tires and hopefully they'll, um, they'll stick a little better then. All right. All right, thank you very much, Dremel. Dremel has put some little slots in the wheel and uh, hopefully that'll uh, give it a bit more traction when it's, um, when it's moving over the grass. Um, yeah. <laughs> Righto, making some progress again then. So, um, so here we've got the, uh, the motor just slotted in for now and um, we've, uh, we've added the, uh, the grooves on the tires, the treads on the tires. Uh, to encourage it to help it stop slipping and uh, we'll just so very interestingly um, and you probably can't see it but maybe you can down in there there is a screw, a, uh, the head of, um, of a little screw, something like this. Uh, so yeah, um, so I, I brought along a plethora of screwdrivers in order to try and um, address this screw. Um, everything's gotten ever so slightly greasy and slippy, so um, yeah, not sure how we're going to do yet. Check this bad boy out. This is a 3D metal printer. Look at that, absolutely solid. Additive manufacturing at its finest. I love one of these things. I could use one of these to make a magnificent robot lawnmower. Fantastic. Um, just a quickie. Uh, I'm here in, in the wonderful world of sunny Sweden. Uh, here, fire extinguishers are called scum, which is hilarious in English. Okay, I'm, I'm here in Sweden with Hans, and I'm telling him he needs to get a YouTube account. He's watched a robot lawnmower episode. He needs to get a YouTube account and subscribe to the channel. Right, Hans? Yeah. All right, thank you, buddy. Okay, cool. Oh. Brilliant. This is my very good friend, Mr. Spungle Trumpet. And um, you'll probably find his channel very amusing. He does all sorts of kinds of mischievous stuff. Anyway, the other day, Mr. Spungle Trumpet won a little Russian doll. There she be. They look bigger on the photos. They look much bigger <laughs> on the photos. It's really quite a tiny little Russian doll. And uh, rather than me sticking it in a thing and posting it to him, I wanted to give it to him. There you go, my friend. Thank you. One Russian doll. Awesome. Thank you very it's much. Been a pleasure. Oh, it's always again. a pleasure. Absolutely. Never a chore. Make sure you check out this dude's channel.